Jennifer Carroll, good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the morning show. So did the outcome yesterday intensify the aura of in inevitability around the nomination process? It did, but unfortunately, Ted Cruz and um, Kasich is not seeing the, the message on the, on the window that's painted just yet. And yesterday was a clean sweep. Every county that um, in every state Donald Trump took in the primary. And, and Ted Cruz is saying, okay, it's on to Indiana. This is my territory. I can make a difference there. Yeah. Pipe dream? <laughs> it is a pipe dream. Donald Trump has won 27 states. Ted Cruz, 11 states. If you can't coalesce your base to win the majority of states and a majority of delegates to where uh, Trump is millions of votes ahead of Ted Cruz, how would you win a primary election? At this juncture, um, Donald Trump has 2, 000, 2 million votes more than Mitt Romney had at this period of time in the election, and Mitt Romney was the presumptive nominee going into the convention. So therefore, if they're talking about party healing, they really need to start coalescing around the, the, the leader right now, which is Donald Trump with over 980 uh, delegates. Yet Cruz, as I mentioned, says we're going on to Indiana. John Kasich says, I'm going to the convention. They think they can bring about a brokered convention. Is it possible that Trump will have that magic number before they get there? He's definitely going to have over a thousand delegates. He needs to get 1237. Could he have that? Certainly. Could he have close to that? If he has anywhere from 30 to 50 shy or even 100 shy, he can get that from the unbound delegates as well as the delegates that are unco uncommitted at this, as this, at this point. So he could conceivably talk to those delegates and get them on board by the time of the convention. It really needs to co coalesce now and get the party together so they can have a formulated strategy against the front run on a Democrat side, which is Hillary Clinton. Uh, it, it was interesting because Trump and Clinton started going after each other with a vengeance last night in what is a setup for that November election. Uh, the latest polls have Hillary Clinton soundly beating him come November, but Donald Trump says that's not going to be the case. What does he have to do to bring more people in his camp to take on the Democrats? Well, one of the things Donald Trump has done thus far, 64% of the new voters that have come in in this primary election have been Democrats and independents that have been crossing over to vote in the Republican primaries. 20% less of Democrats have turned out to vote. The other thing, too, is that we don't know the sampling that they're going after Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, who they, what they're asking and what that sample size is. The campaign hasn't really started between the two of them. So what negatives will, of hers will rise to the, the top and, and, and the independent voters are not even factored in this as yet, as well as Donald Trump coalescing the party Getting Democrats, getting independents to come over may make a difference in the November election. Keep in mind, in this primary election, Donald Trump had been able to win in, in a diverse state, in the South, in Nevada, in the Northeast, where we didn't think Connecticut, Pennsylvania, these, these are places that Republicans typically don't win. But alienating the women's vote isn't going to help Donald Trump. He's going to have to work at that, and particularly with his daughters and his employees to even come out and say how his relationship have been with them and the things that he, he's proven as a leader in the business community, how that does not play out with the type of person that they're trying to portray him to be. So it's the, a lot yet to be seen. A lot, of gam is. a lot of campaigning to go. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, as they say. Now, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Carroll, thank you.